us pray. Through your spirit, O oh God, help us pay attention to listen, not just with our ears, but with our hearts. And let the seed of your news find fertile soil in our souls and sprout there and grow and bear fruit to your glory. We pray it in the name of Jesus, our brother, Lord, and Savior. Amen. It's about twice per year that Lyle Turner, our piano tuner, comes in. And then he sits there and he hits the note and he listens, is it in tune? And he tunes the piano just to have it back in tune. And I think something like that, it is when we pay attention whether we are in tune with God, whether our hearts are open and whether we resonate with God. When St. Francis says, make me an instrument of your peace, instrument, you can interpret whatever you want it to sound. So it can be piano, it can be a guitar, it can be maybe even like a microscope, which needs adjusting too. But what all instruments have in common is in a way that they're there to channel, to explore some bigger energy. So they are tools for something greater. Instruments are tools for something greater. And I think in that same way, we are meant to be instruments for an amazing purpose to resonate with God, to be in tune with God. And to do that, we need adjustment. How do we get that? Well, by coming back, starting at the basics, coming back to quiet down the distractions because aren't we very distracted? We are. Preoccup preoccupied, busy. I noticed from myself, I'm kind of running around and then at times it may feel like I'm like a chicken with a cut off head, <laughs> fluttering around. Well, that's the opposite of being in tune or being focused, being connected with God. The car mechanic symbol or analogy is every time we need new tires on the car and before we get them, we get the car, the wheels aligned. Because if they're not aligned, you have a lot of friction and you burn a lot of rubber, and it's not good for the tires, not good for the car, not good for your mileage, all of it. So this alignment, I think that's a beautiful metaphor that we need, aligning to, align with God's purposes, with God's will, with God's love, with God's spirit. We need that alignment too. Now, how does that happen? You can do it privately by your personal devotion or by meditating, by focusing, by letting go, by just, as Jesus said, if you want to pray, don't make a show out of it at the corner. Some people driving by today probably thought that of me. You go back to your, just 
don't, don't be out here. Uh, but Jesus said, go into your own room, in your own home. We don't pray for show. We pray to connect with the living one. And I think through that prayer, it may be with words or it may be without words. When Mother Teresa was asked by a journalist, what do you say when you pray? The journalist was very, very curious and she said, I don't say anything. I'm listening. Hmm. Listening deeply, opening up, paying attention, becoming aware of God's presence. That what helps us get back in tune. That's what helps us be, get back aligned uh, with God's spirit. We can do that on our own, with our devotions, with music, with worship. We can also do it by listening to one another, like in a small group setting. That's why I deeply believe our Sunday schools are so important, because we can share what is in our minds, what's on our hearts, we can explore, we can discern. That's how we grow when we listen to other people. Now, one lady that stood out with me uh, uh, for two hours, she uh, from a sister congregation, and we talked while no one came by or until we, someone else came by, and she shared how that works for her. Often when she notices that she worries, when she's worked up, when something is on her mind, when she's frustrated, she takes this time of meditation, of prayer, and something happens, almost like something gently, gently changes in perspective. And she recognizes, well, it's not all mine. It's God's, and God is at work. God is in charge. God can take care of things. I always love to watch children because somehow they seem not to worry as much. Somehow there is a freedom, a lightness about children when they play, when they're just engaged and forget everything around them. I think that's a little bit of something what Jesus meant when he said, become like children, trust like children. Trust like children. Hmm. Someone asked a rabbi, how come that in the olden days, way back during the time when our Bible was written, people could clearly hear God speaking. It says like God spoke to Jeremiah and Jeremiah heard God speaking. Why is it, they asked the rabbi, that we do not hear God speaking anymore today? The rabbi said, maybe we're not quiet enough. Maybe we don't take ourselves back enough. Maybe we're not humble enough and not paying close enough attention. I hope and pray that this Lenten season becomes for you a time of tuning back in, a time of alignment, a time of opening up to the living one who wants to reside, who wants to live in your heart. God's love is so amazing. 
if we just open up and bring everything to God. God can do amazing things. God can do amazing things. He may touch you and me. That's the miracle that happens when we open up. May that happen to you during this season. Thank you, O living one, that you know us inside and out, that to you nothing is hidden, and that we can come to you just as we are. You invite us to trust you like children, so here we are. What weighs on us, what pulls us down, what we worry about, what keeps us distracted. All of that, we hand it over to you. Instill your life-giving spirit in our hearts again and keep molding and shaping us into vessels of your grace, of your beauty, and of your peace. We share with you what is on our hearts. We pray it all in the precious name of Jesus. With his words, we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>